The following is a common scenario for everyone that uses a 40 Wi-Fi. Your 40 Wi-Fi transmits signals in the air. That is either in the 5 gigahertz or the 2.4 gigahertz and clients associate with its SSID. But then your channel utilization becomes very high and one of the reasons is what is known as sticky clients. Those clients that just hang up with your access point on the edge of the cell, on the edge of the coverage. Now, these clients will affect all other clients in this cell. So what do you do? You remove them. Your 40 Wi-Fi will send the associate frames to those client whenever they reach a threshold that you can configure on your command line. So let's do it. There are different techniques that can be used to fight against sticky clients. One of them is to play with the access point receiver sensitivity, play with the data rates. Another way is to use the remove sticky clients on the command line when you configure your virtual access point. So let's just use the config wireless controller WAP and let's now edit um, the um, SSID itself. That's the name of the SSID. So let's set the SSID also to test. And from here, if you use the get, you will see that you have dozens of features and configurations that you can play around. If that is something that interests you, I can uh, do um, um, a 20 minutes video on the different configurations that can be added up to your SSID. But for now, let's focus on one feature, which is the set sticky clients uh, remove. Now, by default, it is disabled, so you will have to enable it to use it. The second thing is to actually set the threshold, the threshold that whenever a client reaches that threshold, as the access point hears it, as the access point hears its signal amplitude, which is actually measured in RSSI, that is the received signal strength indicator. And from that, the access point will actually no longer associate with that client. So uh, to uh, configure the threshold itself, you will need to use again the set sticky client, but not remove, but threshold. Now you will see that you can play around with the five gigahertz frequency and the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Now you should be aware of two things. 5 gigahertz attenuates much faster than 2.4 gigahertz. And the second thing is that it, there are cases where you have special devices such as soft phones and others that uh, needs a very, very steady and reliable connection that is a minus 55, minus 60 dBm maximum. All right, so now let's just configure it. We will use double quotes and let's just use minus 70 dBm. And now let's set it again for the 2.4 gigahertz band. Those threshold values are actually the RSSI, the received signal strength indicator. That is the amplitude, the signal amplitude as the access points receives it.